Welcome back to LiveForMusic.tv, guys. I hope you had a great week. Tonight on the show, we've got Gabriel Vargas, okay? The guy's gonna be showcasing his new track, Like Wolves. And what else is on the show tonight, Claire? Well, we're gonna be doing music news, and I'm gonna be reviewing a video by Ashley Watson. Awesome, stay tuned, guys. We'll be with you in a moment. Dua Lipa has had to withdraw from a number of Bruno Mars tour dates across Australia after having her wisdom teeth taken out. The singer stated that she was in considerable pain and said she was very upset that life has gotten in the way but hopes to have a speedy recovery. An Australian man has been arrested and charged with fraud after allegedly selling fake Ed Sheeran tickets to Brisbane and Sydney shows. Five people have come forward with Detective Superintendent Terry Lawrence saying that people have an emotional investment in this sort of thing because they want to see their star. Casey Chambers is releasing her 12th studio album which will be coming out on April 27th. It's titled Campfire and is inspired by her childhood. She has been quoted as saying that she grew up in the remote outback Australia, living a unique lifestyle isolated from society, and that the campfire was at the heart of their existence for survival, creativity and inspiration. The morning breaks. Triple J have announced the lineup for their Good As Friday Comedy and Music Gala. It will be hosted by Ben and Liam and feature comedians such as Becky Lucas, Michael Shafar, Angela Dravid and more with musicians such as Ailish Gilligan, Miss Banks and Satsuma. And that's it for Music News. <laughs> this week's music video review is of a song by Australian LA based Motown and jazz musician Ashley Watson. Having worked as a session coach on X Factor and The Voice, she started out in well-known girl band The Sweethearts at just 14. She was invited to and completed the Hollywood Immersive Music course in LA in 2013. Her song Little Love, as the name suggests, is about always having a little or fleeting love rather than a substantial one. The video is relaxed and cool and Ashley has a confident and laid back style which draws you in and keeps you watching. And that's our video review for this week. I'd like to welcome to the show Gabriel Vargas. Thanks for having me. How are you, man? How you been? How's I'm things? Good. I'm good. I'm yeah. really well. Yeah, I'm really good. And that track, Like Wolves. Like Wolves, mate. Yeah, it's uh, been a couple of years in the making. It was a period in my life where was, there was some things going on in the family, you know, like we were all healing um, collectively, individually, and, um, you know, as that was occurring, a lot of stuff was going on. There's some little arguments and spot fires here and there. And um, this conjured up to me this image of the wolves, which um, stems from a, a Native American proverb, the two wolves, which is basically that, you know, you've got, you got two wolves. One wolf's the wolf of hate and, and greed and jealousy, and the other wolf's one of, of joy and happiness and love and togetherness. And uh, the wolf that wins is the one that we feed. So I had this idea of like this whole situation being about, yeah, this kind of wolves in the fire, cleansing, releasing, putting it all out there. And, and uh, yeah, that's how it came about. And that wolf that we saw in that music video, is oh that yours? Oh God, no. <laughs> what was that, that like? That was a crazy, I'll do me tell you, that was, that, was, that was a really crazy story because that day I was with Matt Holcomb who, who directed um, the, the music video and we'd spent the day location scouting around Melbourne and we, we finished the day and we sat down for a beer um, in Brunswick we're like, where are we going to get a wolf from for this clip? <laughs> no, it's, it's a really important element of you this. You think you would have got it yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a really important element for the song and the overall concept. And I'm like, I don't know, man, maybe a husky. He's like, look, a husky's a husky. We can't use He's a husky. Wolf. <laughs> and literally, as we're having this conversation, I looked across the road and this lady was walking, this, this wolf, you know. And we're like, are you serious? <laughs> He's like, there's the wolf. And I ran over there. I said, excuse me. I explained to her what we're doing. Um, I said, look, what is this wolf creature, beautiful beast that you're walking? 
She said, it's actually a Tamascan. It's like a wolf hybrid. And there's only three of them in Australia. It just happened to be walking there that day when we needed it. And her name's Margaret and, and, and the dog's name's Rook. And they were, you know, she so gladly gave her time and, and you know, um, brought him along for the, for the shooting of the clip. So we call that the miracle of Rook. That was our, <laughs> you know, kind of where the gods kind of shined upon us and said, Ta-da! Here's your wolf. Yeah. Shout out to you, Margaret. Well, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Margaret. Thank you so much. And Rook, you're awesome. <laughs> How good is that? Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. So you got a bit of a Brazilian background, don't you? Well, yeah. I was born in Rio, so uh, it's more than just a bit of a Brazilian background. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's something that I, I really feel connected to. Um, the last couple of years, I went back and spent three months there, and one of the the main things I got out of it was I, I got to reconnect with my biological father, who I really for. 26, 27 years, hadn't had much to do with. So it was really great to, to do that. And, and he's a professional musician. Um, my uncles, his brothers are, are professional musicians. So it really allowed me to see, uh, you know, where that stems from in me. And, and um, it, was, it was an awesome experience. Unreal. Yeah. And yeah. Um, speaking of, who would you uh, compare to yourself in music? Who would you aspire to be? Who would I aspire to be, man? Far out. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> <laughs> and an influence? Yeah. Uh, look, I have many influences. I think as a songwriter, you need to surround yourself with as much music as you can from different genres. Not just music, but art in general, I think, um, is important. Uh, but definitely for me growing up, it was, uh, you know, even before I started writing and, and playing music and performing in front of, in front of um, people, I always had this element of wanting to entertain. Um, I remember uh, there's a story when I was a kid and it was a, it was a Christmas time, I was probably about eight years old. And uh, my mum said, what do you want for Christmas? And right then I was, I was massive into Elvis. I thought he was the coolest cat on the block. And um, I said, mum, I want an Elvis costume. So she went out and they, you know, they made me this thing with flares, this white jumpsuit and I had Diamantes all over it. And I used to wear this thing around like I was the king, you know? Um, and I still have it. I still have it hanging <laughs> in my wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, I keep extending it just so it keeps fitting me. No, no, I don't wear it anymore. <laughs> but uh, it's a cool thing to have around and just remind me of, you know, where the, where the dream started. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And uh, we've, got a, we've got a question from our Facebook viewer, okay. Anna. She wants to know, would you be a mentor to young musicians? Yeah, I would, I would love to be a mentor, um, not just for musicians, but for any, anyone that's, you know, um, young and, and wanting to achieve and, and do something passionate in their lives. Um, definitely music being a passion of mine is something that I feel I can pass on some knowledge. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'd love to help people. So, yeah, bring it on. I'd love to. And um, another Facebook viewer, Pillar, she wants to know if you continue adding um, tribal elements into your music like you did with Like Wolves. Yeah, I would actually. Um, it's one of the things, uh, I'm writing an album at the moment with a friend of mine called Jake Lowe under the moniker Lowen Vargas. And one of the things that we're doing there is actually bringing different uh, cultures and genres into our own style of writing. And so we're really looking at collaborating with some uh, you know, African vocal groups, um, some local um, Aboriginal artists. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's definitely a passion of mine to um, you know, give a voice to the indigenous cultures of the world because they have something beautiful to say, not only through their expression of music, but through their, their culture and um, you know, the way that they view the world. I think it's a really beautiful thing. So. Yeah, it's a real passion of mine and something that I'll, I'll definitely be um, looking at doing more in the future. And Gabrielle's been nice enough, guys, to bring in some merchandise packs. We've got three to give away. So if you share this show, um, you'll be, if you're the first one to share this show, you'll be given one. But other than that, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for coming on the show, Gabe. Mate, thanks so much for having me. Keep Appreciate those, it. Good, uh, those good wolves inside your body, mate. Thanks, man. And uh, all the very best. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. It was great to have Gabrielle Bugs in the show, wasn't it, Claire? Yeah, it was. And it was really amazing how he put the proceeds from his last concert towards the White Ribbon Foundation. Awesome guy, guys. Stay tuned for us next week. Hit us up on our social medias. Facebook and Instagram. We'll be back next week. Take care.